Design of Modern Cathode Ray Tube Cathode ray tube has two metal electrodes. Electrodes are the places where power source is connected. Positive terminal of power source is connected at anode and the negative terminal of power source is connected at cathode. A fluorescent screen is used to see the cathode rays. Fluorescent screens are helpful in seeing invisible moving particles. It absorbs invisible fast moving particles and emit light. Cathode ray tubes are connected to a vacuum pump. This pump sucks that gas out of tube. Discovery of Electron William Crookes observed the little glow on the fluorescent screen which was insufficient to perform many analysis. To understand more J. J. Thompson designed the experiment differently. He reduced the amount of gas inside the cathode ray tube and applied high voltage. In these conditions, he observed a clear green spot on the fluorescent screen. He proposed that this light rays must be coming from cathode and named them cathode rays. After confirming various properties, he renamed these rays to electrons. When J.J. Thompson performed the experiment on cathode ray tube, he observed only a glow at the scree which was located at the end of the tube. This raised a lot of doubts regarding the nature and properties of these rays. First doubt was whether these rays are coming from cathode or not, and what are these rays made of? If these rays are made of some type of particles, what type of charge they have? How much weight these particles have? Do all the material emit such rays or only selected few can be used as cathode? To resolve these questions, Thompson designed and performed different experiments to learn the nature and properties of electrons or cathode rays.